Okay, so let's do a third example of a tangent line problem, which is even more complicated. Okay, so I'm asking you to find the equation of the tangent line, again with an s, and maybe more than one, to the graph of a function, in this case 1 over x plus 4, that passes through the origin. Now that's kind of crazy. So I don't even give you the slope of the tangent line, nor the tangency point. All I give you is the function and a point, which is not on the graph of the function, that the tangent line goes through. That's pretty complicated. So now can, what can we do with that? Well, there's a number of things we can do. Uh, so, well, okay, what do we know? So first, if you plot the function, you get something like that. What you know is that the tangent line will go through the origin, so it's got to go through this point. Now, you don't know where it intersects, it intersects the graph, and you don't know what its slope is, but looking at the picture, we see that it probably will have something like that. Now, that seems like a tangent line to the graph, now, there could very well be a second one. In fact, it's not so clear from the graph here. There could be one that goes like this, right? I'm not going to write it down because, in fact, there isn't one. But just looking at a graph, you may not know if you don't know the function very well. So you have to find out uh, two things here in this case. You have to find out the tangency points. I'm going to write that as a f of a as usual. And you also have to find what the slope of the tangent line is, which is always given by f prime of a at the tangency point. So these two pieces of data you don't know, so you need to calculate both of those. But how can you do that? Well, that's why that's where you have to be creative. So there's two different ways you can calculate the slope of a line. In this case, you know that this line is a tangent line to the graph, so one way that you can calculate its slope is, as usual, by taking the derivative of the function and evaluating at the point of tangency. But there's another way that you can calculate the slope of this line, because you know that this line goes through two points. One is the point of tangency, and the other point here is the point that is given in the problem. Right. So if you know two points that a line goes through, then you know that the slope will be the difference in y-coordinates over the difference in x-coordinates. So in this case it will be f of a, which is the y-coordinate of the first point, minus the y-coordinate of the second point. So in this case the second point is just the origin, so that would be minus 0 over a minus 0. So you know that your slope should also be given by f of a over a. But this is the same slope. This is both the slope of the tangent line. So combining these two statements, we get that f prime of a should be equal to f of a over a. And that gives you an equation for a. And you can try, now the idea is to solve this for a. And if you find solutions, these solutions will give you the x-coordinate of the point of tangency. From there, you can then evaluate the y-coordinates by evaluating the function at a, and then calculate the slope by evaluating the derivative of the function. So you see that the problem looked pretty crazy, but in fact there's a way to solve it. As long as you realize that you can calculate the slope of the tangent line in two different ways, then just equate these two ways to get an equation and then solve for a. Alright, so let's do that. So the first step to make sense of this equation is to calculate the derivative, as always. So you want to calculate the derivative of our function, so f prime of x. Function here is just 1 over x plus 4, so the derivative will be minus 1 over x plus 4 squared times the derivative of the inner function, but derivative of x plus 4 is just 1. So I get this as my derivative function. I also know that my function here is just 1 over x plus 4, so this equation here just becomes, so the equation that I'm trying to solve becomes, so I'm replacing x by a here to denote that I'm trying to solve for the tangency point. So the equation will be minus 1 over a plus 4 squared as the left hand side here. The right hand side is f over a, f of a over a, so that's 1 over a plus 4 whole thing over a, which I could just rewrite as 1 over a times a plus 4. So I'm trying to solve this equation, trying to find solutions for a for this being equal to this. Alright, so let's do that. Well, the first thing you realize is that you can actually simplify a factor or multiply by a plus 4 here on both sides, and what you get is minus 1 over a plus 4, which is equal to 1 over a. That is the equation I'm trying to solve. Now I can just multiply here by a times a plus 4 on both sides. I get minus a is equal to a plus 4, Right, this is just a cross product. And finally, solving for a, I'll get 
2a is equal to minus 4, or in other words, a is equal to minus 2. It turns out I do have only one solution in this case, a equals minus 2. It could very well happen there's more solutions depending on the problem, and that should be the point of tangency, and indeed it makes sense from the graph. I was a little off, but the point of tangency should be here. At least that's the x-coordinate of the point of tangency. So you see, by solving this equation, we did manage to find the x-coordinate of the point of tangency, and from there we can actually calculate everything that we need. Okay, so what do we need to calculate? So we know now that the point of tangency is given by a is equal to minus 2. Then we can calculate its y-coordinate. This is just f evaluated at this point. Remember that f is equal to 1 over x plus 4. So here I just replace x by minus 2. So that gives me 1 over 2 for the y-coordinate of the point of tangency. And I can also find the slope. So f prime of x we calculated in the previous uh, slide as being minus 1 over x plus 4 squared. So this is minus 2 plus 4 squared is equal to minus 1 over 2 squares. So that's 4. So now I have all the data I need, and I have the slope of my tangent line, and I have a point on the tangent line. So I can use the point-slope formula as usual to calculate the equations. I get y minus 1 half over x minus minus 2 is equal to minus 1 fourth, which is the same as saying that y is equal to minus 1 fourth x plus 2 plus 1 half which I can finally simplify to minus, sorry, minus 1, 4, x. Now this is minus 1 half plus 1 half, so that's actually equal to 0. So indeed that makes sense because I know that my line must go through the origin that was given in the problem, so there should be no y intercept here. So that's exactly what I get for the equation of my tangent line. All right, so that was a bit of a crazy problem because in the beginning it looked like we didn't have much information, but we could actually solve everything if we were careful enough and, and figured out how to calculate the slope, the tangent line, in two different ways. So let me summarize what we did. So this is the third type of tangent line problem. So what you are given is the function, as always, and you're given a point on the tangent line, say PQ, that is not on the graph of the function. So in the case that I had, this was my function, and I was giving the origin. So I was told that the tangent line must go through the origin, but the origin is not actually on the graph of my function. So I have to find two things here. I have to find the slope of the tangent line, and I have to find the point of tangency. So there's two pieces of data that are missing, so I need to find both of those. And the idea here is to realize that you can calculate the slope in two different ways. You can calculate the slope as being the derivative of our function at a, or as being the difference in y-coordinates over the difference in uh, x-coordinates, because we know another point on the tangent line here. And by equating these two formulas for the slope, we get an equation that we can solve for a to find the point of tangency. Once we have a, then we calculate f of a and calculate f prime of a to get all the information we need to use the point-slope formula, formula to write down the equation of a line. All right, so there's, these are the three main types of problems that you will encounter. Uh, in, in terms of tangent lines. So there's always a way to solve it, but it's not always obvious, so you have to think before you start calculating. That's a general rule. Whenever you're faced with a problem, start by thinking before calculating, and then you'll calculate the right things and you won't waste time.